Hey guys, welcome to the channel, and I know it's been a very long time, and I apologize for that. Uh, what we got here is a pair of shoes from Eleven Kicks. Uh, we are going to go ahead and get into this review. Uh, once again, these are from Eleven Kicks. So, we're going to start off with the box. You guys probably already know what these are, judging by the new box they got. So... On the top here, you got this kind of forest green color. We got this maroon with this orange, with this kind of stitch right here. The bottom of the box is that kind of mocha color with the orange Nike. We'll take a look at the tag here. So we got Air Jordan 1 Retro High OG, and the colorway is white, handcrafted, and black. That's good. Uh, that is wrong though. So the actual colorway of this is supposed to be black and Archeo brown. I don't know if that's pronounced right, but that's what it looks like. It's supposed to be black and Archeo brown. So that is not correct. Uh, these are size 12. They do fit true to size. Now we'll actually go ahead and uh, take a look at the shoes. So this is the Jordan 1 handcrafted uh, as you can see I do have my light on I will turn that off but I wanted to give you guys an idea of that 3m that is on the shoe very very bright so I'll turn that off there inside the box nothing special no stock X crap or anything like that, we'll go ahead and put the box aside and take a look at the shoes. Uh, first, we'll take a look at the right shoe. Um, my initial thoughts on this, they did a pretty good job. There are some flaws. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and point them out real quick because then we'll go ahead and we'll get into what they got right on the shoe, which is a lot of stuff. But, um, so the heel here, this is a very, 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 very light suede. You're not going to be seeing any movement in this, which is the same as on retail. Uh, one thing, though, is they got the color a bit too dark on here. This is more of a Bordeaux color. It's supposed to be maroon, so this needs to be a bit lighter. Um, the toe box here, while the suede, you do get movement on it. I think you can maybe kind of see that. I don't know, you can't really pick it up on camera, but there is movement. Um, this brown, it's more of a chocolate brown, and it's supposed to be more of a uh, dark mocha brown. So this is supposed to be a bit darker. Um, the shape of it, as you can see, this heel here basically goes straight up. Um, that's not how it is on the retails. On the retails, it's supposed to have a curve to it, almost like that there. So yeah, that's not really correct, and this, that's how it is on both of these shoes here. Um, it's just this overall heel doesn't look right, and that might just be the way that they rolled the ankle here. Um, I'm not really sure. Um, that's really about it. I mean, I don't think this is going to be noticeable on foot that this brown's a bit lighter. Who knows? Um, this suede up here is completely correct. And if you can see, there is some movement to it. This is the same mocha brown as what you see on the dark mocha Jordan 1s. You got your wings logo there. This is like a canvas material with the Air Jordan Wings logo printed on there. Uh, the swoosh placement and height and everything like that is correct. This is also a very light suede, no movement to it. It's basically the same stuff as this stuff here. Hourglass shape, none to speak of. Uh, the laces that it comes with, they come with the black and orange laces, laced up. Uh, you do have orange Nike Air tongue peg. Uh, let's get 
chew the tree out. I'm going to turn my light on again here. And we'll show you the inside. So this is quilted. And as you can see, the insole is also quilted. And it's got the Nike Air stitched on there. And let me check if I can get the insole out. And I can't get it out, unfortunately. But hey, you can see the sway movement again. Uh, the bottom of the shoe, just a matte black color. And as I mentioned, yeah, that 3M really does glow. Take a look at the other shoe. Uh, so this comes with an extra set of white. I would say it's almost a cream lace and then green. Um, retails never came with green. The retails came with this pair here, a pair of black, and a pair of these white kind of off-white cream laces. Um, again, back shape, no bueno. Doesn't look very good. Um, it's not going to be noticeable on foot. Yeah. I mean, I love them. Oh, wait, wait. You know what we got to do? Ever since I got those reps from Mr. Hugh that I thought were awesome and turned out to be total crap, do the squeeze test. And yeah, that's not squeezing. And I kind of hurt my thumb there. The back. Also not squeezing. So these are good. <laughs> these aren't the cheap piece of crap, freaking paper thin outsoles that were on those biohacks that I paid 150 bucks for. So yeah, that is good. These are good quality. As I mentioned, there's a few flaws. The color's a little off here. The color's a little bit off here. It's no big deal. Nobody's going to call you out. Nobody's going to notice it. Nobody's going to say anything. Uh, in terms of the leather, the toe leather is standard shitty Jordan 1 toe box leather. <laughs> That's all I can say about that, really. So yeah, I'm glad I got these things because I actually tried to get them when they were released. I tried to get the retail version and I couldn't. Uh, so I am glad 11 Kicks hit me up and huge props to 11 Kicks for hitting me up. It shows that they're willing to take a chance on a, I guess now I'm considered a small YouTuber um, considering my shitty um, YouTube sub count but it's awesome they decide to take a chance on me and are willing to work with me. Uh, just that fact right there, guys, should make you guys want to at least check them out. Um, they have worked with a lot of rep reviewers, and uh, from what I get from all of the videos I've seen on their shoes, they are really good quality, and in hand I'm seeing here they are good quality. Like I mentioned, a couple flaws, not a big deal nothing I really care about. I'm still going to rock the shit out of these things. I love them. So that is about it, guys. Once again, I got these from 11 Kicks. Um, they didn't give me a discount code, but I will hit them up and I'll ask about it. I'm sure they'll get me one. Uh, so that's it. Um, I do have another review coming up, another rep pair. Um, hopefully these sellers will start coming back to me. I really hope so because you guys want to see content, I want to produce content, and hey, I love the shoes. Um, also, I do still have to do the review on that retail pair of Union Jordans, so I will be getting around to doing that. And again, I apologize for not posting that, and I apologize just in general for not really posting much content anyway. Um, that's going to be changing soon. So that, guys, I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please make sure to hit that thumbs up button. If you aren't subscribed to my channel, please make sure to hit that subscription button. And last but not least, please make sure to hit that notification bell to be notified of when my next video drops. My next video will probably be dropping in a couple of days. With that, I hope you enjoyed it. I hope it was informative, and I'm out.